Blackboard's been recently been upgraded to include some exciting new tools and perhaps the most exciting of these is the rubrics tool. It allows for rapid and standardized marking and creates what you might know as a grading matrix or a rubric or an assessment guide by which you can assess your students and provide them feedback. Let me take you through the process of creating one and in so doing hopefully uh, illustrate their power. I'm in Blackboard now. I'm going to create an assessment. Um, I'm going to choose the assignments tool but note that uh, rubrics can be used with a whole range of assessment instruments within Blackboard. Um, I'm going to do one on basic word. So I'm going to create an assignment and put some instructions in. And in the instructions I'm actually going to direct the students to look at the rubric because through that they can see how they'll be assessed for this assignment submission. Okay. I'm going to scroll down and give this assignment some points. And here's the new feature. Just below the points you get a button which allows you to create a new rubric or add a rubric. And through here you can either select an existing rubric or in this instance create a brand new one. So I hit the create new rubric option and I get a screen that looks like this. I give the rubric a title. And as I scroll down, you can see now the formation of this rubric or grid by which we um, ass will assess our students. Across the top, it has levels of achievement, and it suggests a couple there, but you can change them. For instance, I might want to change this novice uh, descriptor to, I don't know, not competent. Down the left hand side now we have the various criteria or items that you're looking for in that assessment. Again it suggests some examples here and we can change them. I mean because I'm doing a word example I'm going to keep this formatting one but maybe these other ones I can edit to I don't know layout etc. Now within each row you can see that let's use this formatting row as an example. Um, that you've got uh, across the screen some suggested percentage marks. You can change those if you want, but I'm happy with those. And for each element then, you can actually indicate to the students what, their, um, what criteria you're using to assess them for formatting. So for not competent might be uh, inconsistent use of formatting um, fonts, colors, etc. And so it goes and you can go across and fill out those criteria for each of them. I've got some spelling issues here, I'll go back to them in a moment. Um, now the purpose for that is twofold. One, it provides you a tool then later on to be consistent and objective in your assessment because you can state the particular elements that you're seeking. But importantly, it also provides a tool for the students prior to submitting work to you to see what you're seeking in their su assignment submission to achieve a good outcome. I'm going to pause the recording now as I complete the rest of this grading form. Okay, so I've added my uh, various criteria. I've given the descriptive um, qualities to each of those levels of achievement. And I've now completed my grading form and I hit submit. At this stage I'm returned to the assignment area where I was creating my assignment. And you'll note now that it's got some information down here. It talks about the fact that I've got this new rubric attached, that it's going to be used for grading. Now this is a really important and subtle thing. At the moment this rubric isn't going to be shown to students, but I deliberately want it so. I want my students to see it even before um, they submit any work so that they can use it to guide their assessment. So I'm going to choose yes. Um, you'll notice a little tick there and now they'll be able to see that before they submit their work. And then you can continue down and, and set the rest of the assignment properties as per usual. So I've created my new assignment. What it would help now is to have a look at this experience from the student perspective. So I'm going to use another new feature of uh, Blackboard, which is to be able to go in 
under what's called student view. What happens now is I actually get logged out as the instructor and back in as a student. So I can see this unit in the same way that students do. I can go into this word assignment. You'll note the instructions there and most importantly the view rubric option. So now they know precisely how they're going to be assessed and what they should be concentrating on to ensure the best performance. And this really aids us greatly in meeting our AQTF requirements which stipulate that we need to let students know how they'll be assessed. So that's excellent. The student with that information can prepare their assessment piece. They can then um, attach a document as per usual and submit that to their teacher for marking. I'm just going to choose any old doc document at the moment and hit submit. And then after this document submitted, we best go back then as a teacher to see what that looks like from the teacher's perspective. So I'm going to return to teacher view now. I'm effectively swapping hats and I'm considering what I might need to do now as a teacher to mark this work. So the first thing that I always do is I go down to the Grade Centre and to Needs Marking. And in the Needs Marking area I can see that there's a new assignment submission so I'm going to look at that. Here's the student uh, work with the document that the student submitted which of course I could open. And at the point of marking now I can view the rubric and now use that rubric tool to actually perform the assessment. So now I can use this to say, well look, in, in terms of formatting, they use consistent fonts, but they didn't actually use um, the word styles feature. So I'm going to mark it this way. And I can even provide some feedback. They've got no um, grammatical spelling errors, so I'll tick that over here. Um, They've used tabs for layout, but they haven't um, used any clever um, layout options. I'll tick that there, etc. And you'll know what's happening as I go down and make my selections, that uh, Blackboard is summing up those totals for you. So based on the selections that you've made, it will actually suggest the, the um, score for that. Note, I'll just demonstrate that quickly if I were to choose another option here that that score changes commensurately. So it actually makes the marking of student uh, work very, very quick and rapid because indeed all you need to do down is go down the, the list and tick the relevant boxes. I can give some overall feedback if I like and hit save. And then submit that. In doing that, that grade has gone into the Grade Centre and it's also going back to the student. So for one last time, I'm going to return to Student View to see what this looks like now from their perspective. And I'm going into their My Grades. You'll notice that there's a new item here for this basic word assignment, the grade of 75, but most critically, they can view their completed rubric. So they can see how they've been assessed any feedback that you might have provided, where they've gone right and by implication where they've perhaps missed the mark. And again, really good for meeting our AQTF requirements and ensuring that we're consistent and objective when we're assessing our students. So I'm really impressed by this tool and would encourage you to use it. So there you go.